You will be able to keep your doctor. You can keep it. They might end up having to switch doctors. If you, in fact, can put a plan together that is demonstrably better, I will publicly support repealing Ob Obamacare. The Affordable Care Act has problems. I do believe, George, that we need to join the rest of the industrialized world. Bernie Sanders' universal health care plan would cost the country $33 trillion over the next 10 years. Surprisingly though, that's $2 trillion less than the 10-year cost of what we have now. But there's a catch. I'm Anders Hagstrom, and these are the facts. These numbers from the Mercatus Center compare the public and private healthcare spending of our current system against the Bernie Sanders government-controlled system. Over the next 10 years, Americans and the US government are going to spend 35 trillion on healthcare. <sighs> so if Bernie's plan is 2 trillion less, then why don't we go for it? Two reasons. One, taxes would obviously have to skyrocket. Americans might stop needing to pay insurance bills, but you can be sure that will be made up for on tax day. That's the obstacle that has killed several state-level attempts to adopt Bernie-style healthcare. Americans just don't want to see their taxes explode to pay for healthcare that's going to be worse than what they had before. Second, this study compares Bernie care to our current system. But what is our current system? Obamacare. And that's not what conservatives want. The Republican Congress tried to repeal it in 2017, but had little success and never got rid of the individual mandate that makes Obamacare so inefficient. In 2007, before Obamacare and the Great Recession, the US privately and publicly spent $2.2 trillion on healthcare. And that was the highest spending since 2000. If you push that out for a decade, you wouldn't even touch $30 trillion. So we're looking at saving trillions off of Bernie's plan without turning your health care over to Uncle Sam. Maybe Republicans should start talking about the system they want, rather than just yelling at Bernie and staying content with Obamacare. You're a single Ted, mom working, he says you, you're going to pay some more. You're a small business owner, he hey, says you're going to pay you, some more. And the reason is there aren't enough millionaires see, and billionaires no, to pay is, for all the socialism that Bernie and the Democrats want to give away. This is <sighs> Now we're going to take some time to look at some of your comments at last week's video about transgender policies at the University of Minnesota. <laughs> this is beautiful. Kat Baumgartner says, don't embarrass yourself. Try to fact check before posting something as ridiculous as this. And she links to a fact check saying Oxford doesn't have transgender guidelines. Unfortunately, Kat, we're not talking about Oxford, we're talking about the University of Minnesota. But thanks for playing. Oh, one guy said we're probably a Russian bot trying to divide Americans. Do I look like a robot? Brian, I take offense at that. I'm actually a Cylon. Battlestar Galactica. Pretty soon our farts will have to smell in a certain way. Did I say that correctly? L-O-L. I don't get it either. Ed, I don't think there's a correct way to say that. Jeff Forker says, have you actually met anyone who supports this? Yes, Jeff, we have. And here's a couple of them. Thanks for watching and be sure to comment if you want to get highlighted in a future video. And be sure to like our friends pages over at American Voices, The Daily Caller, and of course, here, the DCNF presents the facts. Thanks for watching. Great. Let's go to lunch. My good.